Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Carol Lee. If you're new, thank you for clicking on today. You know, earlier in the video, I showed you that I'm using protein now for my coffee creamer. I've been trying to get at least 120 grams of protein in a day, and this is really helping. So I'm not going to buy creamer for a while and see if this really works. This week, I've already lost four pounds. So I'm giving this a try where protein makes you feel fuller for longer. And this tastes really good. This is the Premier Protein Cafe Latte, and it's got 30 grams of protein in this uh, one bottle. So I'm giving that a shot. I'll let you know how that goes. But I'm also continuing to work out. I walk every day. I'm drinking my water every day. Trying to get as much water in as I can, at least half of my body weight. But we're filming today on Friday. I don't know about you, but Friday just hits differently. I'm retired, but I still love Fridays. I love the weekend. I don't care what the weather is. It's not cold today, but it's windy. It's like up to 50 mile an hour wind gusts today. But it's Friday, right? So it's bringing me down memory lane. It's bringing me down where we went to Florida a few years ago with our cousin trip, a girl's trip and we went to the Tampa area. And my cousin Christy wanted to take us to this Columbia restaurant. It's in the like Ebor Historic District, which is a very unique area. It even had like wild chickens running around the road. But when we went to that restaurant, which is what I'm gonna make for you today, the 1905 salad. The restaurant was founded in 1905, hence the name. It's a traditional Spanish restaurant they even had flamenco dancers. That was fun to watch. And before each meal, they serve this warm Cuban bread, which is to die for. And then at the end of our meal, they recommended the Cuban coffee. So I highly recommend this restaurant if you're in the Tampa area. But today we're going to make the 1905 salad. They're famous for it. And um, I guess let's just get right into it. I made the dressing for the salad yesterday. This is their famous 1905 dressing. They even sell it in bottles at their store, which is right next to the restaurant. But if you leave it in the refrigerator overnight, it's so much better the next day. But it's uh, garlic, oregano, salt and pepper, Worcestershire, lemon, olive oil, and white vinegar. And that's everything in it. But I'm excited to try it. Let's give it a try. All right, I've been waiting so long to try this. Get a tomato. Swiss cheese. Mmm. I 
I can't explain a feeling. It brings me right back there. And I love how you they want you to julienne the cheese and the ham. It does give a di different texture. And they don't want you to slice the olives. They want you to keep them whole. This is so good. And the iceberg lettuce, don't use romaine, don't use spinach. You have to use the crisp iceberg lettuce. So good. And this dressing with the oregano, don't skimp on the oregano. I actually had to go buy it. I have Italian seasoning and I thought, I'll just use that, but I'm gonna be making this more often, so I'm glad I bought it. Well, thank you for going down memory lane with me. I'm gonna share a few of our pictures from the trip at the end of the video, and I will have the full uh, recipe in the description, so please make it. I know you'll love it. As always, I hope you have a blessed week. I hope you have wonderful weather where you are. Enjoy your weekend.